Welcome to AnimatedArtLessons.com. I am your instructor. I am going to take you over to Toon Boom Studio 6.0. When you arrive there, make sure you type Bouncing Ball. Leave that on Most Recent. Change that to 12 if it's not already that. Put that on 720 by 480 pixels. Press Create. As soon as you arrive on the Toon Boom interface, I want you to grab the arrow at the top tool palette. Notice there's three sets of tools here. Leave them alone. Leave them there. Click here and immediately go up to the left and turn the grid off. Now if your grid's not here, just make sure you look for that icon somewhere up here and click on it. Grab your paintbrush immediately right under. That's your brush. Come over here to black and then set the exposure sheet to this icon here. In fact, let's bring out the exposure sheet window and drag it over here. As soon as you do, go up to the top and just move it around until you see it kind of move the windows in the back. See I'm shifting it like that? As soon as it does, notice the one in the back now turn gray. Let it go and this one will pop in there. As soon as that does that, shift over here to this icon and when you click on it, it will give you thumbnails scribble here it'll show up here all right so let's undo that okay so you should be with me at this point make sure you have your colors you can drag these down here to the bottom throw them in there nudge it if it doesn't want to go in and click on this little icon here so now we have this little set of tools move them up here and make sure you click on timeline now if I'm going too fast for you just rewind the video and play it again and get caught up Okay, so let's draw the bouncing ball. Let's spread the little magnifying zoom tool here on our layers. These are actually, if we go to exposure sheet over here, these are actually, each one of these represents cells, and these are the layers over here, or elements. So let's stay on the first one, and let's draw using the paintbrush tool. Draw a circle up here at the top. Now if you are using a mouse or a trackpad on a computer don't worry about it just try your best this exercise is just a simple one to help you understand how to use Toon Boom so go ahead and draw that circle and don't worry about coloring that in with the paint bucket just leave it alone now set your onion skins should be an on and off button if you don't have that on and off button just make sure you look for these and set it on previous three drawings go to the next frame by advancing here or you can use the letter S on the keyboard. Just press S and it will move forward. Notice down here. Or letter A and it will go back. Okay, now let's leave it on the second frame. Notice this turn red. If we go back one, it's black. Okay, if we go forward, it's red because now that is giving us an onion skin. The ability to see the last drawing so that I know where to place the next drawing. Okay, that's what onion skins do. All right, so I'm going to take and begin to move over to the next frame. And now I am stretching this. And notice I have now arrived at the point where I'm going to flatten that out, squash it. This is the squash and stretch exercise. Notice this is bouncing back up. Now, if you don't like it positioned there, you can take the move tool, click it, and bring it back down some. Then go back and get your paintbrush. Go to the next frame and continue to draw. Now this is going to collect itself again and turn into a circle. Now if you don't like that circle there, you can go edit, undo, and then redo it. Go to the next one and the next one. And notice I end it up on 10 frames. If you end up more or less the same, that's fine. Now this bounced here and bounced there, but it squashed. Okay, the shape moved in that position. Notice it is squashing and stretching. So it's normal, it stretches, squashes, and then it stretches, it goes back to normal. Okay, so it's a rubbery substance. So let's play this. Take the onion skins off. Okay, make sure you put it on the zero up here, no previous drawing, or turn it off. And then push play. And there you have a bouncing ball. Now you can put the loop and you can let it play over and over. 
Okay, this concludes this lesson. Go on to the next one. I'll teach you how to color this and how to make a ball that is actually very hard and bounces like a bowling ball. How would that bounce? Okay.